Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this animated service card. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like this. And when you come over here, over here, you can see this wonderful animation. Over here, you can see the wonderful animation. Well, here, yeah, our card is a normal state. You can see that the image is gray in color, but with over, it becomes white. You can see it becomes white. And then this is clickable. This is clickable. And you can also make it responsive on all devices as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. Okay. In our laboratory editing screen, the first thing we're going to do here, we're just going to come over here, click on this plus icon here, select the flexbox container. Then we're going to select this structure here. We're going to come over here. We will have the minimal height. We're going to change the unit from pixel to VH. I give it a value of 100. Then we're going to come over here. Justify content to the center. Then align item to the center as well. We're going to go to the style option. Now we're going to come over to the background type. Set the background type to classic and give it the background color of 333. Okay. Then we're going to go to the advanced settings. Now we're going to come over here to the padding and give it a value of 100 all around. We're going to unlink this to the left. We're going to give it a value of 20 pixel. And then to the right, we're going to give it a value of 20 pixel as well. Okay. Then we're going to come over here. Let's rename this container to parent. Then we're going to come over here and then we're going to click on this plus icon and select the container. Now for this container here, we're going to call it card. Now for this card container, we're going to come over here for the width, we're going to change the unit from percentage to pixel and give it a value of 320 pixel. For the minimal height, we're going to give it a value of 180 pixel. We're going to come over here for the item direction, make sure it's set to column vertical. And then for the justified content, we're going to set it to the center, align item to the center. For the gaps, we're going to set it to zero, both for column and for row. So now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to click on this plus icon here and select another container. Now for this container here, we're going to duplicate it three times. Okay. Now for the first container, we're going to call it mines. And then for the second container, we're going to call it our image box. And then for the third container, we're going to call this one content. Okay. Now we're going to come over to the image box. Now we're going to go to the widget area and we're going to select the image widget then we're going to come over here to our media gallery and we're going to select this image here mind you if you do not have an image that looks like this and you want to create an image that looks like this or you want to have an image that looks like this all you just need to do is to head over to the flat icon website not to worry this website will be added in the description of this video for you to be able to access it i'm just going to come over here and then i'll search for design Okay, now we can see the various icons that are here. Now we can select from any one of them and make use of it on our project depending on what icon we are looking for. But for this, uh, this is the icon that I downloaded. So I'm just going to click on this download button here and then I'm going to download the PNG. Click on free download and then allow for it to download. Okay, now it has been downloaded. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, you can see that our icon here is white in color. However, the icon we downloaded is black in color. So now to change it to white, we're just going to come over here. Let's drag this image to our Photoshop and then let's place it here. Now this is the image here. All you just need to do is to come over here, select the bucket fill, and then you're going to come over here. Make sure you set the color to white here, to white. Okay. And then you're going to come over here. All you just need to do is to fill it up with white color, as simple as this okay and then you just fill it up and then once you're done that you're gonna come over here and you're gonna export it as a png file now that we've done that the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go back here and let's continue with our design okay so now i'm gonna come over here to the content now for the content i'm gonna come here make sure i just fire content to the center then i'm gonna come over to our widget area and i'm gonna select the container Within the content now for this container within the content we're gonna call it details okay now for this detail container here we're gonna come over here for the gaps we're gonna set it to five pixel and then for the item we're gonna make sure we align item to the center all right so now 
we're gonna come over to our widget area and for the heading widget we're gonna drag and drop the heading widget here we're gonna change the text here to design okay then i'm gonna go to the style option now for the color i'm gonna change the color here to ash 5d f f 7 1 okay i'm gonna copy this color code now i'm gonna come over here to the typography now for the font size i'm gonna change the uniform pixel to em and give it a value of 1.6 em come over to the line height change the uh, unit from pixel to em and give it a value of 1.2 em okay now i'm gonna come back to our widget area and drag the text editor right below the heading now for this i'm gonna go to the style option and change the color to white nothing much to be done here for the text then i'll go to the advanced settings and then for the margin i'm gonna come over here to the bottom i'm gonna give it a value of minus 10 okay so now i'm gonna come over here to our widget area here and then i'm gonna come i'll drag the button and drop right below the text editor now for the text button text i'm gonna change it to read now i'm gonna head over to the style option now for the text color i'm gonna set it to black for the background color i'm gonna set it to the same color as that of the heading text okay so now that we've done that everything now looks great as you can see so the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here and add our CSS class to the various containers and widget we have on our design. So we'll go to the card. Now we're going to go to the advanced settings and then we're going to come over here to the CSS class and give it a value of card. We're going to come down to the container called lines, go to the advanced settings. Under the CSS class, we're going to give it a value lines. And then for the image box container, we'll go to the advanced settings and we're going to set the CSS class to image box and then we're going to come down to the image within the image box go to the advanced settings come over here to the CSS class and give it a value of item gg then we're going to come over to the content advanced settings CSS class content then we're going to go to the details advanced settings CSS class details okay we've successfully added all the various um, CSS class. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over to the parent container, go to the advanced settings, come down to have the custom CSS. Mind you, this feature is only available on the Elementor Pro. And if you do not have the Elementor Pro, there is a link in the description where you can get it. So I'm going to head over to my VS Code editor. We have already written out the code that we'll be using. So I'm just going to copy it out and go back here and then I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Now you can see our design has just taken place instantly. Okay, so mind you, this code here we made available on the comment section for free where you just need to copy it and paste it on your design. Okay. All right, so now you can see that our design is taking place here. So I'll come over here and we go over to see our wonderful design. You can see that when it's on normal state, the image is gray in color all over. You can see it looks white and glare here so next thing we can do here is we can just come over here to this card let's duplicate the card uh, let's duplicate it again now let's come over to the parent container and then for the layout let's come over to the gap and give it a gap of 50 pixel okay so we now have this so we're just gonna come over here to the middle card and then we're gonna go to the image box and then let's change the image now we're gonna change the image here to this and then we're going to change the text over to the content here and then for the details the heading text we can change it to let's say AI okay and then we can come over to the, the other the last container the third content on this third container here we're just going to come over to the content first we'll go to the image box and then we're going to change the image here to this uh, image here Okay, and then we're going to come over to the content and then we're going to change the heading text here to web developer. Okay, so now we can, we've successfully done this as you can see. This looks beautiful. You can use this, spice it up and then just, you know, be creative with it on whatever project you're working on. It's a wonderful feature you can add. Now you can come back here 
So the advanced settings we will have the code and in the situation where you want to change the color just come over here you can change the color of the various um, animated border you can change the color here okay and then you can do the same here you can change the color for here as well you can change the color here as well for this one here this one containing the image the image was container then change the color there as well okay now let's check for the responsiveness let's check for it on tablet and this is what we have on tablet it doesn't look great so we just come over still on the parent container let's head over to the layout and then let's come over to the wrap and let's select this set it to wrap and then let's come over here for the gap we're gonna unlink this now for the column we're gonna give you the value of 60 pixel and then for the row we're gonna set it to 100 pixel now this looks great so when you have this you have this and you have this okay now when you go to the mobile you can see it also looks great on mobile as well okay so let's come back here now let's click on publish And so we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.